What a pleasure to see you. The great uh, Spider Sally here. By the way, first things first, happy birthday. Thank you very much. And that was nice. I got a, I got a balloon. Yeah, we got your balloon. Yeah, you got you a know, balloon. At least pretty, you can do. Pretty, You're going to come on my show on your birthday to promote your uh, your film. Uh, at least I can do is give you a, a birthday balloon. Are you, you're very believable as a, uh, a shoe uh, empresario, a sneaker empresario, and a king looking for your sneakerella to come up with a winning design it to is. win the day. Hey, it I is. Think that's a very believable. But the best thing about job. this movie that's different than the other Cinderellas is your children mm -hmm. are going to only know this version. Okay. So it's it's like I said, the, the uh, literally the, um, all different colors. It's in New York City, but our message mm -hmm. is second chance and dreams do come true. So. And you get to see me rap in here. Now, I don't know if you know this, Rich, but uh, yes, John, I grew sorry. up in Brooklyn, New York. I do know that. And uh, I started rhyming. Uh, we call it rhyming when I was growing up, when I was like nine. And I was MC Johnny T in the mass production crew. And so my brother hit me today <laughs> and said, I saw Johnny T, like when you, we was in the park, and I finally got to live my dream of rapping. Because my brother told me, there are no seven foot rappers, get to your left hand hook shot if you want to like make the lead. So hip hop is inside of my soul. This is a musical. I always wanted to be in a musical. Yes. I love being an actor. Uh, and it was true to form. In 1990, I had my own shoe and I won a championship in it. We sold like Kenny's shoe store. I obviously didn't know what I was doing. I wasn't Kanye smart at the time. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, a brother walk up on you on the, on the no, right. TJ is taking photos. <laughs> right Don't now. think I didn't bring my knife. <laughs> TJ's just fun. sneaking some pics. That's yeah, his man. job as the social media grand master of the Rich yeah. Eisen Show. John Sally here on the program in studio talking about the new film available to stream exclusively on Disney Plus, Sneakerella. It is, yes. again, it's a music driven. Uh, yeah. film about um, coming up with a sneaker design and living out your dream and it's a Cinderella version uh, called Sneakerella. It's dope. And you are you are rapping in it. I am rapping in it and to the point where yes. you know, literally some of the battle rappers I like, some of my first best <clears throat> hip hop is battle rap and some of the battle rappers hit me up, my boy DNA hit me up and was like, you did well. I should have been in that movie though. You know, guys always trying to get in. But I, 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 I was so happy when I did this movie that when I came home, I kept saying, this is the best I've ever done. And I said, this movie is fire. And everybody was like, of course you're gonna say that, you're in it. I go, nah, I, I sat back behind our great director, Liz, and I, and I watched some of the scenes and I saw what it looks like. You know, I'm, you know, I'm trying to be like you, Rich, get okay. my own studio right here in Beverly Hills. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Since when is this in Beverly Hills? Jason. I just Jason. Thought I, Jason. I, I, Jason. Jason. Yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't nice. want anybody, you know, running up in here. So I'd tell them Beverly Hills. <laughs> I like it. I like it. John Sally here uh, on the program. All right. Um, so, again, that's available on uh, on Disney Plus right mm -hmm. now. What are you? What do you make of the current um, NBA playoffs, John? What do you got? Anything? Oh, that's, oh, that's right. They play basketball in, in they do. in May, and, and you're June. a four time NBA champion. Yeah, you're but I was in to... trance. I, I was I was hypnotized like Mike Tyson. I don't even remember it. What I what I look at is one. A Jai a Morant has become probably one of my favorite players. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant is still my favorite player. Kyrie Irving, number two. Um, I think it's weird that uh, the way we look at things now, you remember when you used to work for the other network? Yes. You know, we kind of knew. You, you, you knew who was better. Nowadays, you don't know. I, I would be afraid to play against Luca. I'm telling you personally, mm -hmm. that's how good he is. And I know, my, I know Larry Bird, he's this much below Larry Bird, uh, or maybe that much. Mm -hmm. But Larry Bird would put fear in me and everyone else just like Luca does. And, I, and I, I watched him going, man, this dude is every move uh, Kevin McHale's uh, ever had plus, mm -hmm. and he can put the ball in the basket. I'm really happy for my boy Jason Kidd and the Dallas Mavericks. I'm, I'm a Mark Cuban fan. Um, and I think they're going to go to the finals. You I think, do? You think they will beat the Warriors? What makes you think I don't that? want them to because mm -hmm. I love, my, I love uh, Draymond Green. Draymond is my favorite player in the NBA because he reminds me 
of a piston. I was about to say, uh, Draymond Green could have played on those bad boy teams. Yeah, and that would have been a problem. I would have been sitting on the bench, so I'm glad he's (laughs) now. But uh, his mentality is definitely uh, piston um, all day, all day. And I I had Boston. I was on another network. um, I had Boston winning. And then I sat and I thought about it. Uh, I'm really going to go with Dallas. I'm really thinking Dallas is going to pull us out. The whole shooting match you're talking about. The yeah, whole I, I I think Dallas is going because if Dallas gets into the finals, I don't see Jason Kidd um, wanting to get this so bad. Um, well deserved. I'm glad they hired him. Um, I think they I think they got the size and they have they understand who to go behind. Well, I mean, Luca having 27 and a half, the Suns only having 27 as a team. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I've never seen that before. Certainly not in a game seven, not in the NBA playoffs where a player on one team is going off so significantly that he has the same number of points as the opposing team does at halftime. I've never yeah. seen anything like that. So when you said that Larry would put the fear in you, like walk me through that. What do you mean by that? Okay, so Rich, you know, we're going up to play and I'm a Celtic fan since I was you know, 15 or whatever. Even in Brooklyn, New York? That's because I didn't like the Knicks because everyone else liked them. And the Celtics always won and the Knicks always lost. And all the New Yorkers, I don't really care. My mother would say to me, hey, tell Patrick I said hello. And then I because I played with him since we were 16, I would elbow him and say, that's for my mom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Larry got in the game one time, and for some reason Chuck Daly puts me in. And Larry, you know, was between Len Bias and myself to be drafted to the Celtics. And Red Arback made a smart move by taking Len Bias. God rest his soul. I wish he would have um, not <clears throat> done the wrong thing the night before um, or the night after we got drafted. But with that being said, Larry knew me since I was a sophomore because mm-hmm. we would go up there. It's not illegal to go up and be in a camp in Marshville, in Boston, mm-hmm. and you work in a camp, but really you're there to play against uh, that night, those nighttime games. So Larry knew who I was, and I get in, Chuck Daly has me starting one time, and Larry looks around and goes, uh, what's up, Sal? I said, no, nah. he goes, Are you on me? I said, yeah, I got size on you right now. I've been watching every movie. He goes, y'all not double teaming? And he's looking around, <laughs> he goes, yo, I go, nah, it's just me, fella. He goes, mouse in the house, mouse in the house. And they change the play, and he catches the ball, he does this, and he shoots it. He says, Sal, you better ask for a double team, bro. (laughs) (laughs) I got two quick fouls because I'm smart like that. (laughs) Yeah, he was, and and he was always in shape, and he hated Bill Lambeer. So when you got a guy that hates somebody, he's playing for entirely different reasons. Well, I mean, you've seen the, everybody's seen the footage of, and, and if you don't, just go ahead and Google Larry Bird, Bill Lambert. I mean, Bill, you know, threw, threw him to the floor. No. Right? I mean, like he threw him it's, to it's, the It's not I what mean, happened. Come on. Larry pumped fake. Dennis went in the air. Dennis's foot got caught, mm-hmm. and he caught Bill. So they all twisted and went to the ground, and then Larry started punching him. And I was pulling Larry off, and he was trying to get away. Um, but that, you know, Bill, Bill didn't hit people um, – Illegally, he hit him very legal. John, he threw him to the floor. I'm telling you, Your Honor, if if we can afford that, uh, if we can afford that, but I know we can't afford it. No because idea. We don't have the, the NBA the, is funny on their clips. Um, no, it literally was Dennis's leg got caught in Larry, and Dennis fell, and then Bill got caught in it. With I promise you, I, I watched it a thousand times. Chris is watching it literally right and now. And Chris, am I wrong? It is Dennis he Rodman? He to the floor. He didn't. No, it was Paris that punched him eight thousand times to the ground, and the referee <laughs> said, "I don't see anything." It was like it was a mob hit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was Chris, blind until I see you walk in. Uh, this is the diehard, mo- the biggest Larry Bird fan. I mean, Larry I'm a Celtics fan, fan, but I mean, Bill Embiid gives Larry Bird like a rock bottom. No, he doesn't. You just listen to Johnny Mouse. So, this is the most I mean, disgusting watching, thing that ever happened. Nah, Bill didn't do anything, man. Bill was a, was a Larry fan. He, if Bill was a Celtic, he'd be the greatest Celtic of all time. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you're not wrong. No, because he, he, he have his numbers greatest, up on the rafters. Greatest Celtic of all time. They they made a mistake by not getting Bill Embiid. 
How good would and a then bird kicks him? He t- exactly, <laughs> kicked him. I mean, he hated him, right? He hated they him. They hated him. Yeah, that that. But that's a good thing because usually, um, you can't play through hate. John Sally here on the Rich Eisen Show. How good, or you wouldn't want it, uh, a winning time on the Bad Boy Pistons be? <laughs> uh, well, one, let me just say this about winning time. I salute them for doing the best they can. And people have to understand yes. television and film. One, you don't have a lot of locations. So we never bring a girl in the locker room. That's not impressive. It mm-hmm. smells like um, popcorn and athlete's feet. So not a good place to be. Yes. Then um, I think the Kareem mentality, the way he was moving, seemed to look like Ma- uh, like Cap. And Magic said, this guy's nowhere close. And he's he's not close, but boy, he, that smile and the charisma and the looks right. are great. I think Jerry Buss was not a bumbling. Uh, I, I think they played Jerry Buss and Jerry West, mm-hmm. Dr. Buss, sorry, mm-hmm. and Jerry okay. West completely wrong. Jerry West is not like that. Jerry West is, if he's going to curse you out, he's going to pull you close. And it won't be swear words. It'll be like, hey, man, get your butt together. You know, he he's on that. Mm-hmm. He's intense about winning. And without Jerry West, the they don't win. And I say this all the time. They're not even at that point. He manufactured or put that squad together for them to win. Um, and it was just he, he and Irvin. Uh, but besides that, I, when I watch your show. So when... Um, uh, what's his name? Norm Nixon's son was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy sweat! He got his dad down pat. I would agree. Yes. Yeah, he he got him down pat. So I, uh, you didn't know I watch your show, did you? John, yeah. I, I, all I these years it. I've been wishing to be on. You best saying, don't worry, oh, don't worry. Going, when we have a slow season, just, I'll put you on, Sal. That's ridiculous. <laughs> these are all these are all falsities. But <laughs> you're here now, at least. Yes. That's great. Yes. Um, um, but yes. So by the way, you just noticed a top-notch broadcaster, which, John, Sally, you have spent many, many moons doing this. Watch it. You just didn't answer the question. How... I'm like Farrakhan. <laughs> how good, or you wouldn't want it, a winning time on the Bad Boy Pistons with Isaiah and you and Lambeer and Rodman, right? Yeah. Buddha, right? Oh, my God. And, Rick Mahorn. And Mahorn. And Mark daily, Aguirre, right? that, yeah, Daddy Rich. Let me just say, man, how good would that be? It would be. There's a lot of things that. I, I, today is my birthday. I turned Happy forty birthday. again. Yes. Uh, yes. I'm on my 18th Con- anniversary. Your 18th, of my 40th yes, birth. your 18th anniversary, yeah. 40th birthday. Yes. But there was things going on that I didn't know. Right. I I, I found this out when I was watching Michael Jordan's um, the Last, Last Dance. Dance. One, I if we knew we were in their head as much as we were in the head, you would never have heard about Michael Jordan. We would have run that into the ground. That's the first thing. Second thing is all the different things that were going around and happening. You know, when I left practice, I went to lunch and I was trying to find um, something fun to do, go bowling, get my nails done, um, (laughs) call about, yeah, I love getting my nails done because the girls hang in the nail salon. And uh, <laughs> and everybody likes pretty feet. And I had ugly feet at the time, but the nails were perfect. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know. But well, well, you could look at me and say that too. You don't have to look at TJ. I mean, <laughs> well, Jay's over my shoulder. I gotta watch out. You know, he didn't give me the signal. You got me, Jay. You know, I got you. Sally. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like reading the Vietnam War. Right on. I got brother. your six. As they say, Smarty. I got your six. I I uh, I, I tell you. I think it would be amazing because when when they found out mm-hmm. Dennis Rodman, th- this is this is true. When we got there, you know, we were just the two rookies, and then Dennis would started hanging out, and we started winning, and he was so exciting. And the people that came on to Dennis, he was like, "Hey man, you got to come out with me." And at that time, I didn't really go to clubs that didn't have black folks in them. Uh, it was 1986. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't go to those clubs, but the, when I finally went to the club that had less black folks in them, the clubs he were hang, he was hanging in, 
Oh, boy, we were pissing a lot of fathers and grandfathers off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Generational <laughs> racism out of the window. Uh, <laughs> um, but I couldn't believe how they were like, Dennis was like, this is the most amazing thing in the world. And we had to play basketball. So I, I used to laugh that they paid me to do what I would do for free. And I think Isaiah was such a thinker. And and to me, sometimes an overthinker. And then we had Adrian Dantley who listened to uh, David Falk as opposed to knowing Isaiah personally. And I didn't realize it was a it was a beef there. I, one, I didn't understand hierarchy. I didn't I didn't realize. Oh, Adrian is a star in this squad, and he's coming to to be with this star. But mm-hmm. who's going to be the man? That, that was dumb to me. Uh, I didn't I didn't get that. Um, and it turned out Isaiah is the man. <laughs> so yes, it did. <laughs> understand that, or you get traded. So I <laughs> I didn't realize. All of that stuff going on, but if we were to pull out some things, man, uh, now that I'm in my fifties, man, we, we our show would be a little bit better than winning. I've got to tell you, uh, I think we're onto something here because those bad boy Pistons years yeah. were something else. And you know, the crazy thing is, uh, you know, Rodman. So many people just remember Rodman from the Bulls years. Right. Certainly, the Last Dance when he first came in that league, Mm-mm. there was no he. There's nobody like him, right? No. When you there, say? No, see, and I was always, you know, the fact that he was out of Texas, Dallas, I knew he was an alien. <laughs> I knew he was an alien. <laughs> you know, all that land. And, it land if you, and if you don't believe that Dennis Rodman is an alien, watch him run, right? He runs like all the way up here, fast as everything. He skips, right? And, and skips and has asthma and has hands. Uh, for cattle, so <laughs> Rich, this is a crazy. Thing. It's 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 my it's my rookie year, and it's All Star break, mm-hmm. and so I go to Atlanta to try to find as many girls as possible. <laughs> he goes back, I think, to Oklahoma or, or, or somewhere in Texas. It might might have been yeah, somewhere in Texas. Yeah, and he has to castrate three hundred calf. <laughs> Dennis's job was to jump off, grab the calf, and hold it to the cash. Castrated or what's the word? Neuter. Yeah, got it Um, done. Yeah, and then let him go. And so I get back. Man, I had a woo. Man, it was off the chain. What happened? Man, I had to deal with all the cattle. I said, how many? He said, three hundred. I said, in three days. Yeah. I said, bruh, (laughs) you need a better agent or something. And I would. I I knew how strong he was, and I knew um, no one jumped like that. No one played like that. And and he was from another world, and he is from another world. When you look at him, you realize, and he he should have been in Men in Black. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just the skin suit, the basketball skin. skin I mean, they use Ben Marquis. They might as well use Dennis from yeah. his planet. Oh man, um, I could talk to you for a million years, John Sally. So uh, what do I what do I want to ask? Oh, who, how about this one? I was going to say, who plays Chuck Daly in the Winning Time? Oh, who plays Chuck Daly in the winning time? Um, I don't know. Mm. That's a good one. Yeah, I, don't know. I would never. Good... I would never peg John C. Riley for Jerry Buss. That's, that's for sure. I would never he have done close. that. He looks, he looks close. close to it. Or what uh, about you? Or what about Dennis? Or let's, 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 I would. I would let's cast this baby. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah, can play yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, seriously, I because yeah, I'm still in shape. Um, you are. You yeah. look the same. Like, yeah. You don't so age, when you eat this John. vegan diet and and you don't you don't put bad things in your body and you get the best cannabis you can possibly have, you want to use me. You see, I slipped that in, Jack. Um, you want to again? You didn't address me on that. I didn't. Right. I didn't because I'm looking at your fingertips and. It's only scotch. Just, it's only scotch. <laughs> <laughs> it's scotch. It's scotch. A little I bit of white wine on a Sunday. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I got ready for you, John. <laughs> you know, uh, John, you say Rich's hands never rolled something? Is that yeah. what you're getting No, at? no, 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 Rich. Uh, he got kids. Let me tell you what's about to happen to you, bro. Okay, what's happening to me? 14, your kids forget who you are, and they become their own person, and then they start beating up on the younger one, and then they turn 14, and then he starts beating on the younger one. The younger one literally is in a whole different span. So in the next nine years, you, you're going to have no hair without you without <laughs> you cutting it. You understand? I used to have a high top, and then I had <laughs> then I had daughters, and now I have literally no hair. 
<laughs> except out of my ears and my nose. I'm like an old Irish dude. So we need to get in Sneakerella while we can, is what yes. you're saying. Right Watch here. Sneakerella with your, with your kids on we Disney+. Will. Plus. We definitely will. Oh, it's really good family movie. Too. Would, we're locked in. We yeah. are going to do that this That's week. If not this week, then this weekend. Uh, available on Disney+. Plus. Um, oh, now I know what I want to ask you. So you said that you, you, you learned stuff about... Um, uh, about the Pistons uh, yeah. through through the Last Dance. Did you learn anything about your year with the Bulls through the Last Dance? Yeah, at all. Let me tell you. One, I should have stayed on the squad, but Jerry Krause wanted. He had this thing about Robert Paris, and so he gave Robert Paris uh, two point five million dollars for. I think he played seventeen games. Uh, he just loved Robert Paris, so he wanted Robert Paris on the squad. If I would have stayed mm -hmm. i would have had my seven championships right now and i'd be able to talk smack to Ori. Uh, <laughs> well not Ori, to michael jordan which i would rather do like <laughs> I, I i you know it was funny because i knew i was coming on and tom brady is definitely one of my favorite um mm -hmm. superstars uh -huh. and i said i should start a controversy today on rich eisner and say michael jordan is the tom brady of basketball that would piss everybody off because, you know, I like messing with everybody, calling Michael the greatest of all time. Mm -hmm. I think he is, but I like saying that he's not. But Tom Brady has seven championships, and Michael has six, and Michael is so competitive. I guarantee you that bothers him. I guarantee you. I love that. Bill Russell having more, he's cool with that. But anybody else, MJ just so competitive. Um, but what I learned seriously about myself mm -hmm. is uh, – I should have stayed on that squad. I wanted to come to Hollywood so bad that um, I just felt, I followed my gut. And I'd just gotten a, a gig with Buena Vista for the John Sally show. And we sold the country. And then they put Keenan Ivan Wayans on in my spot. And I was 32 years old. I don't think I was, I was trying to be Johnny Carson. I don't think I had enough mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. education. So the universe has a way of presenting itself. So now I got the John Sally crypto show, which, will come out in June and it's it's everything but I had to put crypto in because Rich Eisner show was already taken well you know what I I get that and at least it worked out here uh when I mean you're you're the king of kicking off three peats uh, yes you know so you you had the first of the second three peat with the Bulls and then you had the first of the three peat with the Lakers yeah and you know Phil got me man I'm gonna tell you Phil I I, I did a I did a really good job that year um, standing next to Kobe and hearing Shaquille. And I thought I had a great position um, right there. I thought my position was really good on being able to navigate between the both of them. Uh, and the only reason I had to do that is because Kobe was just turning 21. It wasn't that he had a problem with Shaq or Shaq had a problem with them. He was coming into who he was. And th there's only one basketball. And I thought I would have been, you know, still greater. But they got Mark Matson, right? Mike, is that his name? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And he was great for them. He was great for them. And he played, and he had a different energy than I did. So I, I think it, w it worked out in their favor. But, man, I wish I would have stayed on collecting $1.3 million to say, young fella, young fella, what you doing? What you doing? Don't get another foul. Don't get another foul. I'm not taped. I'm not taped. I'm not taped. I'm, not taped. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not taped. So, <laughs> but I think it would have been great uh, just being on the Lakers. I watch the Lake show now, and they really need me there. So, Jeannie, listen to your boy. Hire Mark Jackson, first things first. Two, you need to get guys on the squad who really will run through a brick wall and not care, and not care. You, you, need, you, you, need, you need the stars. But you need also them to all sit around and get along and, and figure out how to do things. Sneakerella available on Disney Plus starring John Sally at the John Sally on Twitter at John Sally on yeah. Instagram. Anytime. I, I mean it. I, I, I you know, John, what? I saw your you wife doing? out. She was like, you ain't been on the show yet. I said, talk to your husband. What's the deal? You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I, things, they, they, that's I snatched true. a watch. These are true. I snatched a watch. That's yeah. what happens. I got, a, I got a Rolex for that. Got a Rolex. <laughs> Check out Sneaker. Sneakerella on right. Disney Plus, available for streaming right now. John Sally here on the show. We'll be back to wrap this one up in a second.